LinkedIn is a great way to promote yourself and your business. And most people these days are 50 to 60% of the way through the buyer journey before they speak to a customer. Now, whether or not you're actually going to be doing any sales, I'm still going to be talking about uh, your LinkedIn profile as being a sales tool. Now, sales is everything. Whether you're looking to get a job, whether you're looking to get your child to eat their dinner, uh, whether you're looking to actually make a sale. Um, most of the concepts can be carried forward and brought into the LinkedIn environment. So that's how I'm going to be talking about this today. So this is my profile, and as you can see, I've got a banner, I've got a professional image, I've got as much as I can filled out at the top, uh, and remember this is all the above the fold information. So first impressions count. So if we take another profile, and I'll choose one at random, so I've gone to the connections page, and I will click on this person here. And the first thing we notice is there's no LinkedIn background. Now, if you look at the LinkedIn backgrounds in the mobile view, you'll find that um, the picture goes to the center and you can see uh, it stands out, really, really stands out. It also stands out very much on the desktop view, as you can see in that last window. Now, this is important because, uh, oh, and the other thing is in this headline, uh, she's got some, some information there. Uh, which is good. But one thing you will want to avoid is your business title in here. And you want to uh, make sure you have a professional image and your background. Now, you can do whatever you like for your background. You don't have to do uh, an image, um, like a, a photo of a, a local city or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website called Unsplash. And here, this is a free stock image platform. And I can go and I can grab any of these images and paste them into this banner area back here. And all you need to do to modify it is go to that little pencil. Now, I've done some other things in a platform called Canva, which has allowed me to add my logo over the top, some other bits of text, which talk about some of the, the services that I provide. Now, your perspective or the way you want to promote your uh LinkedIn profile is really relevant to who you are trying to attract. Are you looking for people to employ you? Are you looking for customers? Uh, what type of customer are you looking for? My audience is going to be very different from our example here, uh, who is an Instagram influencer. So making sure that when you fill out your profile that you address it to the target audience that way you know that your target audience is going to be responsive to the text and the information in your page because it relates to something that they would be interested in. So my audience wants to see a professional photo. Um, this is, perhaps if I was in uh, a little bit more in kooky advertising and marketing, I might have a, a little bit more of a, uh, a shocking or attention grabbing uh, image. However, I want to portray professional, uh, yet somewhat casual. And that's the, um, the image that I've, I've got for that. So going back here, choosing an image. Now, my advice would be choose something that's background worthy. Now, what do I mean by that? So this hat here, uh, it's, it's background worthy because you can grab the, uh, you can snip a zone around the hat. So you can cut uh, an imaginary line uh, this one here, you've got a bit of black space. Um, it's quite simplistic. It doesn't draw away from the eye. Perhaps a beach, you might even rotate that. Perhaps um, you could even use a bit of blur or a bit of sky. So you could cut this zone here. Because remember, your image is going to render on the left. And in the mobile version, it's going to render into the center. So you need to think about that. So perhaps this snow and the trees. So looking in the banner view, you'd have the trees in the top and the snow down the bottom. Now then, using that Canva example, you could use that blank space to put some text. And we've used this dark space down here to put some white text. So obviously, look at your contrast. Um, simple as best. Um, I've chosen this one because we wanted to portray that we are in Brisbane, so that uh, we uh, appeal to our uh, local customers. Now, 
I mentioned briefly before this uh, business pickup line or the headline. Now I've gone for something that lists out a couple of things that are a little bit attention grabbing and I've done that intentionally. Now a lot of people if they if they see a job title, uh, business development manager, salesperson, uh, property manager, these sorts of things are not really good uh, headlines because thinking about above the hop, uh, above the fold, you really want to get something that is attention grabbing. So you want to try and avoid your business role. That's what your experience section is for down here. So when you're looking at your business headline, now there is a key above the enter key. If you hit shift and then um, the button above the enter key, you'll get this little line here. It's a good separator. You can use different things, but um, you are limited on characters. I find that you can squeeze in a few extra characters if you edit it in a mobile version. Uh, if you want to make changes, just hit the pencil up here. And remember, you've got this section here, which is providing services. And um, you've also got options to add that you're hiring or that you're looking for uh, recruiters to basically find you a job. Uh, this section here is uh, the ability or gives you the ability to tag your profile. Now that's important because anyone searching you or searching people like you um, or, or how you want to be portrayed. So for me, that's marketing, marketing, consulting, branding, uh, all things that are related to my industry. So they don't have to be exact. You can go color outside the lines a little bit there. Um, but being able to fill that out helps people to find you, helps more of the right people to find you. And um, the last thing I want to show you in this section is this add to profile section. So you've got these options to, to select those. Uh, and then this one is a drop down and it gives you all of the parts of your profile. So if you have a look down here, there's all these different sections. So there's education, licenses, skills, endorsements, recommendations. Now, some of them are on by default, but go through each of these and just try and get a tick. So about, you know, you want to fill out as much as possible. So put in every kind of content. Again, if you think about a, a shop, so you're going to walk past the shop. If it's just got a, a very simple sign on the front, you know, uh, Haven Coles sales guy, and it says nothing else, it's going to be pretty uninteresting. But if you walk past another shop and they've got display window, they've got t uh, stock out on the tables, they've got, it looks inviting and you can see what's in there. There's a big difference in, in people's assessment uh, of whether or not they want to walk into that shop and then say hello to someone. So make it, make your, your profile inviting, make it uh, complete and try and give yourself three dimensional space. And we'll talk about that in another session. However, the ability to create uh, a, an attention grabbing profile is paramount to having someone accept a connection request with you uh, to want to dig further. Perhaps you've met someone or you're about to meet someone and they do a little search for you on LinkedIn. It certainly changes the conversation when your profile is very professional. So making sure you're, you have a banner image, making sure you have a professional photo, your headline is good and you take uh, advantage of filling out all of the sections as much as possible. That's it for now. Thank you.